What innocent search ended up being NSFW? Period knitting. What I wanted, historic patterns. What I got, the chick who shoves wool up her vagina and then pulls it out and knits it. Way back in the day, when Mrs. Doubtfire was in theaters, I got super hyped on Jump Around. I found out that the group was House of Pain, and I wanted to look them up on that fancy new internet so I went to www.houseofpain.com. It was hardcore BDSM porn and I went running and crying to my parents to tell them so they wouldn't ground me for mistakenly going there. As a network engineer when I google the error code on the device I now have to type out wireless access point instead of WAP. Back in the 90s, my sister was trying to show my mom how the internet works. She said, you can, for example, go to sites for any kind of band you like. So Backstreet Boys and types in bsb.com or fan.com or something similar. Up pops the bear shaggy boys hairy porn site. And that's how my sister wasn't allowed to use the internet without supervision for three months. A friend of mine had a prolapse disc in his back some years back. I wanted to learn about it so I googled prolapse and ended up checking the image results. That was the day I learned that your rectum can actually prolapse. In middle school, I remember in the school library, my friend leaned over and told me to google image search for Z11 and then go to the 14th results page, and there were a picture of boobs that the school censor didn't block. I called bullshit, but sure enough, there were boobs on page 14. Edit. It was 18 years ago, those glorious boobs are gone from page 14. I was writing an essay about different types of oil, including vegetable oil, as a lubrication in machinery, and why some work and others don't, so I googled vegetable oil lubrication I learned a lot, but nothing I could use for my essay. My friend went to a library to research sex discrimination before computers were widely available. She chose a computer for blind people which suddenly said very loudly, you typed in the keyword sex. There are over 70,000 results for your keyword sex. If you wanted to filter results for the keyword sex and she quickly pressed escape 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 but it was too late. Everyone around looked at her as if she was a pervert. Wife and I were joking about eating chicken noodles, which then led to chicken nudes. I searched for turkey nudes next and forgot turkey was a country. A coworker was trying to find the bidet company Tushy. Their URL is hellotushy.com. He went to tushy.com instead. That's a porn site, he did it on his client own, and monitored, laptop. He told us all of this immediately after he did it asking for advice on whether he should proactively reach out to cybersecurity to explain that he was not in fact looking up porn on his client laptop. I had a report to do on Lucy when I was in like 4th grad or something. It's an old Australopithecus fossil. Well I google searched that shit with my friend at his house and found some boobs we did click on the boobs, but quickly got back to our intended study. Well my mom got a call from his mom later that night freaking out about us looking at porn and my explanation did not hold any water at all so I was grounded. I'm still kinda salty to this day and feel like I was set up. When I was a child, I wanted to practice my drawing skills by drawing some Inuyasha pictures. I hopped on the family PC and hit up the Google. I didn't know how to spell Inuyasha, and I have no idea what I did spell, but it was all internet porn. I had never seen porn before. That's when a young Inukshuk's life changed forever. Once my little cousin borrowed my laptop for a project. Later when I was casually scrolling through my history for a link, there was a Google search for boobs and then big boobs. Guess the little man wasn't satisfied by the former search. My grandmother had a small mammal living in her backyard and I was trying to help her figure out what it was. I was using Google image search and decided to look for pics of beavers. Veil. The first result was not the kind of beaver we were talking about, nor was it something you wanted to pop up with your grandmother looking over your shoulder. Luckily she's pretty laid back, we laughed our asses off for 5 minutes before searching beaver animal the very first time I ever used the internet, I accidentally found porn, this is mid 90s. I'm in the library at my school working on some group project must have been second grade or so, and all the librarians were losing their minds because they finally had a bunch of computers with internet access. I didn't know how it worked, but the kid next to me told me to go to Hotbot to look things up, before Google. Well, this kid had a cold, so he was congested, and instead of hearing the hard D sound at the end, I heard a D which means I went to Hotbot, I don't remember if it was. Com. Net. Or go or whatever, and the first thing I saw was some blonde lady showing me what a vagina looked like. Being too young to be interested, I immediately closed the browser and let someone else use the internet instead. I wanted to make a watch the game at, some bar. Poster. I was looking for a silhouette of people on a couch with their hands raised like score. I could find silhouettes of heads but none of the yeah. Fists in the air. So I did a search for fists and just got color photos of clenched hands. Tried fisting nope. When the internet was new, a lady from my church accidentally found something she wasn't ready for. She was one of those very conservative, naive Christian women. There was a church group for young boys and girls similar to Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. The boys group was called RAs or Royal Ambassadors. The girls group was called GAs or Girls in Action. 
She went to Yahoo to look up material and first searched GAs and nothing of note came up. She then searched girls in action and well let's just say she didn't find a church group. I know I'm late, but I have the best story for this one, for both people who end up reading it. 6th grade, Mormon me is supposed to be doing a 5 paragraph research paper on some shit or another. Is super bored. At the time, my favorite thing to daydream about was a magically creature I made up that was basically just a ball of fur with two paws. Like a snuggly Kirby, perhaps, looking for further fuel for this magical creature I imagine and bored of the essay I googled cute furry balls when we got an Amazon tablet my 5 year old was upset that Alexa wouldn't let us teach it his voice for the voice recognition. I tried to explain it to him simply by saying it doesn't allow children to use the voice recognition because otherwise they could say Alexa show me the naughtiest picture in the world unwittingly summoning Alexa in the process, when I heard here are my results for naughtiest picture in the world the panic was real. I'm pretty sure the results would have been fairly vanilla, but I locked the tablet very quickly nonetheless. I remember in elementary school we had to go to a computer lab for a project about healthy foods or something, and our teachers kept saying do not google search milk and of course there was the trouble kid in the class who did it anyway and a couple of us got to see the results, it was a pair of very large, very beautiful breasts that had milk poured over them. In middle school we had to do a social studies research paper on a country. Well one of my classmates was doing is on the Czech Republic. So when we were sitting there in alternative school, stupid story, he googled Czech Republic and all the Google images were of porn. The alternative school teacher absolutely flips her shit like a crazy person. Like I mean this woman had no business being around kids. It caused a massive ruckus. This was around 2005 BTW. Oh god, when I was just out of high school, my church decided to do a Narnia themed BBS, this was pre big budget movies. I thought it would be cool to make a Narnia themed coloring book the kids could take home just a few pages stapled together with a construction paper cover. So I was looking up pictures to use as inspiration. Lamppost. Woods. Castle. Beaver. This was on the church computer. Was in my art class in 7th grade. It was a free draw day, so we could all do whatever we wanted. Well, I was in the mood to draw a shark. But I needed some good reference material. So off to one of the classroom computers I went. I got onto Google Images and thought, what would be a really good search term for good shark images? Ah. I know. Jaws. So I input Jaws and looked over the results. But one image caught my eye because I couldn't immediately make out what the image was about. I immediately knew it wasn't a shark, but curiosity got the better of me. So I clicked it and went full screen, but before I realized my mistake, it was too late. The image had two girls in it. Both naked. One girl was facing the camera while kneeling, her mouth was smiling openly in an amazed and joyful manner while she was pointing at the other girl. This other girl was not facing the camera. Well, at least her torso wasn't. She was bent over, her legs stretched wide to each side and her head appearing just below her pelvis, upside down, with a similar smile to the other girl, while she too was looking at the camera. Her hands were clasped to her ass cheeks, spreading them wide and far, revealing her butthole. But her butthole looked off. I remember tilting my head in confusion, and then I immediately understood why this image came up under the search term. Jaws placed in her gaping butthole was a pair of dentures. Pearly white teeth far sickly glistening in a what could only be described as a literal shit eating grin. The image was burned into my head and forever will be. There have been many but my top one would have to be an image search for my little pony. Not kink shaming here but for the love of god why does google have to put one of those images on the first page of the search? I was just looking for printouts for my kids. I forget what it was but I googled something for a customer on my phone. I work in hardware retail, and it brought up an ungodly amount of porn, due to a misspelling. Luckily the customer wasn't looking at my phone when it came up. I closed the app as fast as I could. When I was a high school freshman, for my Spanish class, we had to make a collage of basic words. Among them was professor and professora, teacher, masculine and feminine respectively. When I googled the images for them, I used male teacher and female teacher. The male ones were fine. The female ones most of the results were porn. For Halloween I was a poorly drawn fan art of Joseph Joster so I looked up bad Joseph Joster art to explain why I was in a super tight crop top, hat on three belts, none of which were attached to my pants, and why I kept joking about little metal balls. It's really my fault for having safe search off, and what did I really expect from my fellow Jodards?